So we're now in the process of moving the fish. Uh, all the hardscape I've put in is in, it's just uh, chunks of driftwood. Um, I've never had any problems with my fish actually bumping into them or anything, so hopefully they'll be fine in this tank. This tank is um, slightly larger than the tank they're in now. The tank they're in now is actually a cube, so it doesn't look as big as it actually is. Uh, I hope, I hope I can get them all in safely, fingers crossed, but um, let's get started. So in this tank, I will be moving five Oscars, a Giardini Arowana, a fairly large black ghost knife fish, a um, albino red spot plico, and a banded leporinus. The fish I'm most worried about in this tank actually is my arowana. Uh, I hope he just doesn't jump and freak out as much as I've seen some actually do. So I think what I'll do is I'll get the Oscars in first, I'll get everything else in, and then I'll go for the arowana. Okay. I'll go for my. This is my, I've got, amongst my five Oscars I've got a pair, and then this here is my, is my girl, she's my big female tiger Oscar, she's about two years, she's about two, two years old, um, she's quite, she's quite a chunky little girl actually, um, I have a feeling she might be slightly short bodied, but, um, I'd never, I'd never find out. I got her when she was quite, quite big. Next, I'm going to put my my favourite Oscar. He's my biggest Oscar. He's uh, the guy I've had since he was about an inch long, so a very, very little baby. He's actually a very beautiful Oscar. He's an albino tiger. He's the male to my peer. So him and the girl I just put into the big team are a peer. So, yeah. So that's my pair in the tank. Next I'll go for my three other slightly smaller Oscars. I'm actually gonna put my little, my little weird Oscar in. He's got, a, he's got a bent mouth, he's a bit ugly. He's the smallest of my lot, but got a beautiful personality. It's a feisty bugger. Okay. Next I'll go for, this is actually my favourite out of these last three Oscars. It's just a regular red Oscar. I used to have one a long time ago. I got it at the same time as I got that um, Big albino tiger Oscar, but unfortunately, unfortunately it passed away. It's the problem with moving big fish, you get soaked in the process. And then one more Oscar, and that's the tiger Oscar. This one. Under here will be my Pleco and my Banded Leporinus. Okay, next I'll go for the Banded Leporinus. This is going to be the hardest one to catch, I imagine. Or not. I've got it fairly easy. This one's not quite as big, so I won't get quite as wet on it. <laughs> I think I'll actually go for the black ghost knife now. Um, unfortunately, he's a little bit beat up at the moment. I'm not sure what's happened, um, but he's he's got a tunnel that I've put in there. It's on a piece of wood. He's, he usually sticks, sticks in that quite a bit, but he's been exploring a lot more during the day, and he seems to be trying to fight with everything. So, unsure what's going on. Um, I'll keep a closer eye on him in this tank, but he is a little bit beat up. I'll have to chuck some medication in this tank.
Right, uh, I think I might actually go my arowana next, and then I'll do Pleco last, and I'll try and catch the Pleco by hand. Just as they're, um, as most of you probably know, the their side fins can clamp into nets, and they ended up they end up putting little spikes out, and it's quite hard to get them out of nets. So I'll try and do him by hand. Okay, this next one is going to be the hardest and most. Nerve wracking for myself as they can jump very, very well. Um, I've never really had a problem with him banging into lids or anything, but as everyone knows, arowanas are just very, very strong fish. That went a lot smoother than expected. So the last fish in this tank I need to get in is this um, fairly large albino, albino red spot pleco. Um, I don't really want to get him in the net, I'm just going to try and get him by hand. What I'm doing is I'm just cascading him against the side, just to allow me to grab him. Um, oh. I will try to get him in the net. Might be a little bit easier. Oh, that went really, really well. That's all the fish adders. Um, I'm just going to get them settled in. I'm going to tidy up a bit and then we'll check back in. So this is a few days later, tank's fully clear, the fish have settled in, and they're all looking really, really well. The arowana seems to have already grown, I don't know whether it's just the fact that he's in a longer tank, but he seems to have already had a growth spurt, which is almost virtually impossible, seeing it's only been a few days. But all the Oscars are looking very colourful, very settled in. But yeah, everything's looking really, really good. Sorry about that, Claire. There's not really much I can do about that, but it is what it is.